books <laughs> and it really made me giggle so ready to fight over something that didn't even look good look at his little face oh my goodness step one wake up brother gonna rise with the sun step two uh, Corey and I are at a place called Table 23, and so far it is delicious, but we are outside. Surprisingly, for Florida, it's not as hot as it usually is, so I'm so far happy about it. So far it's good. Could change it any second. Uh, so far we have bread. Oh, I said so far so much. Say hi. It's actually pretty nice out, and the atmosphere is very cute. They have lights. Very nice. I did end up getting an apple cider mule, <laughs> which I've never had before. They even have the little cup for it. I love the little cups. I used to own the cups just um, even though I didn't drink mules too much. I just like the copper cups. Personally, I think it's a uh, statement piece in my kitchen. I do not have them anymore, but these are pretty cute. I might have to buy some. With the meatloaf and Corey got the uh, chicken and gravy which these look so good I'm not gonna lie to you <laughs> okay quick book review the cool prints it was okay wasn't my favorite uh, let's see another one these violent delights not my favorite uh, let's see the crush series I believe there's like seven books of that now, and I actually quite liked it. It's a, it's YA. It's not as very uh, serious as I like, but it was cute. It's fine. It's stocking night, as you might be able to tell. So, the first to die at the end. Amazing book. Cried my eyes out. Ten out of ten. Would recommend. It's amazing. Uh, let's see. Shadow and Bone. Of course, I think most people have read this at this point. I liked it. Um, I like... I like it. I like the Ninth House book series a lot more, personally. But, you know, it's just more my type of book. Heartstoppers. Amazing. Amazing series on Netflix and then also amazing book series. Love it. Let me see what else there is. Oh, we're in the romance section. Let me see. All of the STEM books that Ollie Hazelwood does, the Love Theoretically, Love Hypothesis, I like, I think there's three of them. I liked all of them. They were pretty good. Uh, they're very easy read, nothing too serious, but it's fun because the STEM aspect is very rare in books. So, you know, it's kind of fun to see the representation in that. Uh, let's see. Okay, last book recommendation, of course. Um, the Akatar series is one of my favorites ever. Uh, I mean, if you haven't read them at this point, you, you need to jump on it because they're amazing. Amazing. I mean, they get you back into reading if you've been into reading some for a long time. For me, those got me back into reading. Okay, I don't have kids, right? But if I did, this whole section of like Halloween books <laughs> would be in my basket. I just think they're so cute. Let me see what my favorites are. Um, Little Pumpkin. How cute is that? Let me see. Baby Boo. Oh my goodness, adorable, adorable. I saw one back there that was books. <laughs> and it really made me giggle. <laughs> so maybe I do have the, the knowledge of a three-year-old, I'm not sure. Oh my gosh, you guys. There's a glow-in-the-dark ghost afraid of the dark. Let me, oh, I gotta get to it, hold up. Oh my gosh, the artwork on this. And it's glow in the dark. Oh. Oh, I just want, I want to have people to give this to, if that makes sense. <laughs> I just want people to want these books because I would get them in a heartbeat for them. Uh, what else is there? The witchcraft looks kind of cool. I don't know. I think it's a coloring book. Oh my goodness. There's spiders, but a spider has never looked so adorable. Let's be honest. <laughs> Let's see, is there anything else on this side? Oh, they're all so cute. So now we're in the coloring section, and I used to color a lot, but I haven't gotten into it for um, quite a while. It's been at least a few years, but this one? The best of 
the beauty horror it actually looks <laughs> i mean it's kind of it's kind of spooky but in a good way you know what i'm saying we got little chucky i won't show too much but i don't know if i wanted to do coloring i feel like i don't want something so um punchy i want something a little more calming because when i color i kind of go into like a mindfulness space not so much a, like i want to color in horror vin figures <laughs> if that makes sense oh they have a secret garden this is one of my favorite books growing up this one seems more my more my speed Oh yes, that one's pretty. Okay, we're officially where we wanted to be when we came here, which is the Halloween section. And look how cute! Oh, they're all so cute. No, but this dog sweater with the little ghost on it, tell me buttons wouldn't look adorable. Come on now. If I find one her size, I might have to get it. I don't know, I haven't seen it yet. I'm, I'm get, losing hope. Can you watch the cart? Buttons is weird. When we adopted her, she didn't know how to play with toys. And to this day, she doesn't really play with toys too much. Um, but she does like wearing clothes. That, I'm not making that up. She actually enjoys it and uh, like gets excited when we put a sweater and stuff on her. Of course, living in Florida, it's usually too hot. But we might get away with it this year. A little bit of colder weather. It says this is a small, but this looks really big. I don't know about that. Says it might fit her. Might have to get it. Oh, Corey wants to get her a cowboy hat, of course. Fulfill his little, you know, country dreams of having a country dog who looks as prissy as buttons. I doubt it. Okay, here's some of the Halloween decorations so far. Uh, Corey and I don't really know what we're doing in the front yard, but we wanted something to go out there. So... I don't know, we might be too late. People might have already picked a lot of it over. Actually, I don't know. I see some stuff. We do have a tree out front. We could do some lights around that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think so. These are. They have little spooky. Orange. Oh, these are string lights. Spiders. Yeah. Oh, there's like pumpkin ones. Pu oh, ghost ones! Are they only ghosts or are they pumpkin and ghosts? Ghost only. But how many, you only get a little bit of length, right? Six feet, yeah. And how much do you get? This one's like nine feet. Yeah. Ghosts are regular light. The green ones you get like a 19 feet. Oh yeah, you can do purple, green, or like those ones. The purple's kind of pretty. I like the purple. Cool. Yeah, I agree. This is indoor or outdoors. That would work. Okay, that could go around the tree. Mm -hmm. Should we do like a little setup in that whole little flower bed over there? That would probably be the best spot, I think. Okay. Yeah. Oh my gosh, look at this huge bear. I didn't even notice it. I don't think I can do it justice on this camera. It's huge. <laughs> Why is the little pumpkin cow so cute? I feel like the inflatables have only gotten bigger and bigger. I don't know how most people would fit this in their yard, if I'm honest. Okay, I got a better, a better view of the bear. Can you see him? He's pretty cute. He's pretty cute. Oh no. <laughs> I can't take him anywhere. Guys, it's, I mean, I, I wasn't joking. It is running low here. Uh, spirits are low. We might have to go somewhere else. Right now they have hay bales, which I don't really care about the scarecrow kind of scene. Ooh, that one's okay. I feel like he's not very spooky looking. Ooh, I love gargoyles. <laughs> That's cute. Can you light up the gargoyle? Yeah. Oh yeah, that's pretty. That's actually pretty neat. But again, it's not really an outdoor decoration, which is what we are looking for. I don't know if anybody else had this, but we had a witch that kind of looked like this. 
and it attached to your tree and she had a broom that stuck out and it looked like she hit your tree we had that for years and years like it never deteriorated <laughs> and we live in florida so that was one of my favorite decorations so i'm gonna have to see if we can find that anywhere because that would go good on the tree that we have out front actually <laughs> that's a thought oh my gosh you guys though listen this is my aesthetic look how cute oh my goodness why are they so cute oh they get better <gasps> look at the little eater look at the little like uh what do you call him grim reaper that's it look at him oh what does he do oh my goodness is he is he an outdoor or indoor a blow mold that doesn't tell me much does it for indoor use not what i'm looking for but it's very cute Okay, we're at the projectors, which might be our fail safe because projectors you can't go wrong with. It covers like your whole house. They're not very spooky though. I really like a little, a little more spookiness. This lighting makes me look rough. There we are. Let's see. Let me get close. Let me see which one do I like. I like the ghost one, kind of. Mm. Ooh, what's this? This looks kind of cool. It looks like lightning or static. What do you think? Ooh, yeah. Oh, like a thunderbolt. Yeah. Okay. That's pretty cool. Where are we put it pointing at, though? Probably if we could get it to where it's like the front by where our window is. Hmm. That one's kind of cool. Do you like anything else? I didn't look at the projection yet. Oh, okay. They have a bunch of different lights over here. Like Ooh, let lights, me look at lights. lights. This might be cool like for under our counter or something like that. Like strip it to the bottom and it would shine the floor. Yeah, but that's not very like Halloween decoration, is it? It's cool, but won't we have to take it off when we move? No, I don't know. It's rental pro... <laughs> Rental problems. Oh, was I on camera saying that? <laughs> Let's see, we got lights, we got lights. Oh, come on, you passed up all these good ones? I, p I like them. You passed up Freddy versus Jason right here? I can't even tell what's on that. Freddy cool. This is kind of cool. But what's the projection like options? Like, what's it say? You get, um, there's six options. They don't actually look that good. That looks awful. Yeah, we're not getting that. So ready to fight over something that didn't even look good. I'm joking. Oh my, oh my goodness. They have little Harry Potter blow ups. Tell me that's not cute. Okay, I know we are here for Halloween, however, they have Christmas stuff! Oh! Listen, I love Halloween and I'm not jumping right into Christmas, but Christmas brings my heart a, t a different kind of joy, I'm not gonna lie. Christmas is probably one of my favorite times of year. Probably because I get to see my family and stuff so much. Oh, look at the train! Corey loves trains. If he sees this, he's gonna want to get it. Oh, here he comes. Let's see what he says. They have all kinds of train sets. Oh, I like trains. I know. <laughs> Look, they have a big guy, and then they have one for the tree, and then they have a Grinch one. Oh, that Grinch one's cool. Oh, is there a bunch? Yeah. That oh, yeah, Santa cool. Express. Yeah. Happy Holiday Express. We actually have a Harry Potter train we should set up for Christmas, I think. Mm, yes. It would be very cute. Not the, um, what is the one that makes a really, like, fancy Harry Potter train? Lionel. Lionel. It's not a Lionel one. It's just, um, it's very cute, though. <laughs> oh, I love that week. Oh, they are pretty. I feel like the Weeping Willows, though, they don't give them enough volume. So once you get them in, like, in your yard, they just look a little sad instead of, like, full. <laughs> Listen, they do! They need to add some more, like, 
branches or something. Ooh, a color changing light. Christmas tree. I'm not gonna lie to you, last year we looked high and low and we got that viral like Home Depot one that has the really cute bulb lights. I'll have to show it to you this year. It's, it's my dream tree, the dream lights. It looks like a little fairy tale tree to me. <laughs> so, oh, see, this is what I mean about the willow tree. Look at this. They have its branches, I think, tied together or something. Well, yeah, but even then, like, look how sad it is at the top. That's what I'm talking about. It's a willow. <laughs> it's not a willow. Have you ever seen a, a willow tree? Yeah. They don't look like that. Oh, I'm so excited. There was a bug in my face. <laughs> you missed it. Anyways, we're looking at more Christmas stuff. There's more Christmas stuff out than Halloween stuff, and we're about a month away from Halloween. Please explain that to me. I think because Christmas is just like most people's favorite time of year. I'm not sure. Oh, oh it's a deer. Didn't we see those big ones? That's right. For $29? Yeah. At $49, I think. No, they were, they were like, they uh, maybe 69 uh, Big Lots had these deer cheaper, if you see them. Ah. Oh, sorry. What? It's oh, it's a Christmas pig. <gasps> I had one and it got right. It got. It no, got. I think it's still okay. I think my dad saved my Christmas pig from the flood. Oh my gosh! If I get to set that up, I'm gonna be so excited. I love my Christmas pig. Oh, look at these. They're fuzzy. <laughs> are they for outside though? I feel like they would get dirty. Mm -hmm. They are though. Huh. I love these, and you can't tell me any different. You can love them. I just feel like you gotta have a theme for the candy canes to look good in your yard. Look. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, the Grinch. Ooh. Oh, and they have these cardinal ones. That's so pretty. Oh, the cardinal. They don't feel very Christmassy, but I guess they kind of are. We have tons of cardinals where we live now. Oh, come on. Don't give me that face. The cardinal is a Christmas <laughs> bird. No, it's not. Is it? I guess it kind of is. Um, uh, ooh. What is this Aww. musical Christmas tree? Can you push the button? Oh, yeah. What button? I don't know. There has to be a button. It's musical. I don't know. It didn't. <laughs> there has to be some way to turn it on. Oh, oh, oh. I would stare at that for longer than I think is necessary. It is kind of... I don't know. He's kind of cute. I love the old retro looking stuff that is kind of creepy, that's but that's just my personal taste. Wow, they have so much Christmas out. I'm telling you, they have more Christmas than Halloween at this point. Maybe we just came too late in the season for Halloween stuff. I feel like it shouldn't be too late. Oh, look at the little houses. Oh, very nice. Nutcracker. Oh. Is it a pillow? Oh, you hang it. Just, yeah. Oh, and he's like a plush wall hang. Yeah. It's kind of cute. They have a lot of Grinch stuff though. Look at this guy. Oh, he's, I think he's lighting up just very lightly. Yeah, there's supposed to be lighting up. Uh, let's see. I think that's it. I think that, uh, I think most of the Christmas stuff is towards the middle. Yeah, yeah. Off we go. Hey everyone, it's Saturday and this is my outfit for today. Um, so far we went to a farmer's market. I could not film because there was a lot of booths that had like no pictures, no filming, that kind of thing. But I wanted to show you my cute outfit. I did end up pairing the shirt and the skirt together and I think it looks good. And then here's my makeup. Very fall inspired. So very quickly I'll show you what I got from the farmer's market. This is a little delicate so give me a second. Okay. This lady was selling flowers at the farmer's market but she also made this cute pot with sticks and twigs. She actually like weaved this together. People are so freaking skilled. Here, let me move my hand. It's like a little watering pot. People are so skilled. And then of course the flowers inside here are, um, they are the Rosier Miniature Rose. So I don't know, I think these are gorgeous. And I think uh, it's gonna fit right on top of my little plant window seal over here. And it's gonna look cute. Let me see if it fits. Oh my God. There we go. Now I have two orchids and my roses. I think it's gonna look good. Hopefully that's not too much sun. I might have to do some research, but I think it will fit. And then next I got, oh wait, this is Corey's favorite. This is garlic bread, which if you go to a farmer's market, you have to get bread. I mean, isn't that kind of like the requirement? <laughs> so this is like garlic and herb bread. And we just had a piece, we shared a piece. 
next level good. I have never had that bread that's like this flavorful. <laughs> 10 out of 10. Finally, we went to this, um, there was somebody who does like crocheting, which I know is like very popular right now. I personally don't think I would get into, I don't know. Maybe it might be good for like a mindful exercise. I have not done it yet, but I am always inspired by people who can. So we got this, <laughs> so we got this cute um, crocheted strawberry. Look at his little face, oh my goodness. And then I have on commission, I want to get a actual like pillow made for my couch. Um, so it's gonna be big and I'm hoping it looks as good as this one does. And I think it will. She was really sweet and like a joy to work with. I'll, um, maybe I can say the name of her company. I'll have to see. I should ask her permission first. I'll do that and then I'll see if I can share her in the video because I don't want to like bombard her with commission requests if she's not ready for it. But anyways, so far she was so sweet and I'm excited to see what she comes up with. She's going to make, um, one that's probably like this size for the couch, like kind of like a couch pillow. Uh, right now I just have like cutesy pillows, but I really want something even cuter. Like I have little pink pillows, but I think a strawberry would really kind of uh, bring my kitchen and my living room together because it's all very cutesy and pastel. <laughs> so that was my haul. Okay, I couldn't close out the video without showing you the finished commissioned strawberry. Look how cute it turned out. Oh my goodness. It's absolutely just what I wanted. And I'll leave the, um, person who made it, I'll leave the Etsy and the Instagram in the description box down below. So check her out if you like it. I love it. I hope you like this video. I'll see you next time. Step one, wake up, brother, gonna rise with the sun. Step two.